Hey guys, it's Hink here. Today what we're gonna be talking about is basically advanced injury support techniques. So we're talking about, these are some of the more like experimental and more controversial things that you could do to help you recover from some major injuries related to like PE related techniques or pelvic floor injuries or even just, you know, potential sex or masturbation injuries. So stay tuned, we're gonna go all through that today. All right, guys. So once again, what we're talking about today is not like minor injuries where, you know, you woke up one day and you feel like your erection quality isn't as good as it normally is. What we're talking about is the more severe injuries where guys that have like done major damage, their members aren't functioning like normal. They have things like severe erectile dysfunction, nerve sensitivity problems, coldness, can't get erect completely. These types of more major chronic issues, guys. So most injuries that occur, especially when we're talking about things related to enlargement or just like temporary inflammation and so this video is not for you this video is for the guys that have been going through something i would say you know roughly speaking for at least like three to four weeks already if not more and nothing is helping nothing is improving they're starting to get worried they've seen their urologist what the urologist has recommended it hasn't been working okay that's who this video is for i know how some of you guys are online you start to hear like the first thing and then you like you hop on it okay and so just keep in mind this video is not necessarily for you. This is for the severe injury guys, okay? I've made so many other videos on like how to recover from different injuries, especially your more basic injuries. Usually what it comes down to guys is please watch the other videos, but what it comes down to is basically rest, meaning only use your penis for basically urination, okay? So no sex, no masturbation. Sometimes things like supplements that increase your blood flow, like a citrulline-based supplement, like, oh, you yeah, know, they're Virgo right there, or any other citrulline-based product that's gonna improve pelvic blood flow. Beetroot can also do that. And then sometimes medications like Viagra Cialis. So if you haven't seen my videos on citrulline or on Viagra Cialis PDE5 inhibitors, you know, check those out first, guys, before you jump into any of this stuff I'm about to discuss, okay? Most importantly, guys, never break the law and do your own research, okay? Please do not just blindly take what I'm saying as the law. I will reference the papers in the description below. Look up the papers, form your own conclusions, see if it's worth it to you to discuss some of these different techniques, okay? That being said, let's get into it, okay, guys? So the first thing I'm gonna discuss growth hormone, okay? HGH. It's no secret that HGH is, I mean, honestly, it's it's thought of as like this fountain of youth and it does have some anti-aging properties, but it can be very, very beneficial when it comes to injury recovery, okay? It's literally just human growth hormones, synthetic human growth hormone, guys. And so some of the potential benefits, okay? So here's a study in rats. You know, there's actually not as much human data as I would like in this, but it shows that HGH can help with nerve recovery. It can help with cell division, so it can actually promotes division of like cells, especially those cells that are responsible for healing and recovery and actually injury recovery. And so there's even the University of Illinois, which is actually having a trial, especially with geriatric patients that are recovering from different surgeries, um, which I'll put up the study here, which you can see that they're actually trying to test and prove kind of once and for all that HGH will greatly expedite healing process, okay? And so um, a lot of actually sports medicine clinics, guys that have had like ACL tears, Achilles tears, they will actually prescribe HGH because it has been shown, it hasn't been really proven on like these level one studies, randomized trials, but it's been shown so many times to be potentially beneficial that it is worth it for a lot of these companies or a lot of these practices to prescribe it to help speed that process along, okay? And so who else uses it? Of course, bodybuilders abuse the crap out of this drug, okay? You know, there there's this actually, you know, HGH is such a fascinating molecule from a scientific perspective allow me to nerd out for a second but they're even able to like analyze different components of it and so like there is this like it's called like frag 9604 or something along those lines also known as like aod or anti-obesity drug and basically what it is it's a fragment of hgh that is the responsible for like the fat burning aspect and so they have isolated that fat burning peptide if you will and they think that like by refining that it can actually help with like weight loss and so there's actually some trials going on with that so hgh really is like quite a remarkable substance in general that does have significant utility, okay? But let's talk about some of the problems. So number one, in order to get like the real deal stuff, you need to go and get it through a specific clinic or yeah, yeah, I mean, it's like telemedicine. You need to get like the real deal pharma grade stuff. The problem with that is that it is ungodly expensive. And so 
probably you guys know about the liver cane, but he was using like $15,000 worth of IUs of HGH like every month, guys. Every month, $15,000. That's more than like a lot of very wealthy people make it like per month. And so that's it's, it can be seriously, seriously expensive. And then if you are like in your underground gym trying to get it, you don't know whether you're getting like the real deal stuff and whether you're getting the high quality stuff. Like the only way that I would recommend this is, is obviously through a doctor, through a prescription, only legal through legal means. But you guys are trying to go underground and get this stuff, you really don't know what you're getting because this stuff is so expensive to get. Okay, and another big thing with HGH is it can increase your levels of like IGF-1, insulin growth factor. Basically what that comes down to is it can decrease your insulin sensitivity, okay guys? So insulin's what's needed to clear your glucose, your sugar from your blood. So when you have problems with your insulin, you can have elevated glucose levels, which can lead to diabetes, okay, or other problems from higher levels of glu glucose deposition in your body. And so you need to be careful with that. You need to be monitored by a doctor while you're on this. And then there's other side effects that it can cause. Like it, you'll see these bodybuilders, and I'll put up a picture here, Dallas McCarver, rest in peace. But like you can see some of the changes to his face from chronic, not only HGH abuse, but steroid abuse. You can get this like real puffy, like red, pink, like swollen face and extremities from, from chronic HGH abuse. So you need to be careful with, with that. So basically what are my conclusions with with HGH. I mean, I think if you can go through a doctor and get this from an actual doctor and be monitored by a doctor, I think it's pretty like relatively reasonable to try, okay? Especially if you have exhausted some of those other methods and you can find a doctor that will prescribe this for you. Do I think it has particularly high utility, like a high like cost to reward ratio? I honestly don't guys, but you know, this is for you to decide. I, I just, I can't say that this would be one of the first things I would go to, to, to help recover. Okay. Do your own research, talk to your doctors, don't do anything illegal, figure out if it's right for you guys. And once again, these are in guys that are in really pretty dire situations where nothing else has worked. Okay. And so leviathansupps.com for any of the supplements that me and BD personally put together, that is going to be well below any market price that you can find. I can almost guarantee it, especially when we're talking about the quality of the product. We also have our test booster Vitality that'll be out any day now. Okay, please check that out. I'm going to be putting a video out about that. If you are looking for enlargement devices, peakmalephysique.com has all those. Once again, guys, I guarantee you we're going to beat any price that you can find. Okay, it's just it's just a fact. Okay, if you need to reach me directly, Doc Hink is my Patreon. You can reach me there. Until the next one, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you all. I love you all. Peace and love, guys.